for cheap gold, items and other boosts for Diablo 4, visit AOEAH.com. Check out the link in the description, you get 3% off with the code Ariad. Hello and welcome to my Flaybarb guide. This build is great for killing bosses and also for high pit levels. Compared to the Bash Bleed Barb, the bleeding comes a bit slower but stacks up much higher. Maybe the Bash Bleed will run faster in lower pits like 101, but the Flay Barb can do higher ones in the end. The gameplay is a bit more challenging, but a lot of fun. So we will look at the most important points now. Flay gets maximized, I chose the offensive extension here. No core skills, but 5 points in tactical iron skin. We also take strategic challenging shout and war cry with 1 point each. We have got the typical passive skills and we wanna use rupture and steel grasp. The key passive is gushing wounds. We also wanna execute flay with the two handed slashing weapon, I recommend a pole arm. And we also set the two handed axe mastery. The Paragon system is quite similar to my other bleed builds, but I have put some other glyphs. Exploit, Wrath and Revenge are still in there and I added Might, Ire and Executioner. For more damage reduction, we can still swap some glyph to Territorial. Further, I play the Blood Rage node again here, so I also tempered Berserking damage on two items. Some may be surprised that we don't use a grandfather here. For bash bleed it was awesome, since that build converts the high bash damage to bleeding damage, by berserk ripping aspect and two handed sword mastery. So critical strikes directly increase the bleeding damage and you also get the bonus from gushing wounds. Flay just deals bleeding damage without any conversion needed and it cannot critically strike. So Grandfather is only half that useful here and we only stack critical strike damage for gushing wounds. So in both cases we wanna have a high critical strike chance and both vulnerable and critical strike damage. But on Bash Bleed you play a bit more critical strike damage and on Flame more damage to vulnerable. Now let's look at the items. We use two Unix, Harlequin Crest and Rage of Harrogath. This armor is fantastic, because it resets our cooldowns very fast, so we will always get our iron skin ready in time when we need it. A greater affix for damage reduction is nice here. On the gloves, crit chance and attack speed are must have, best to have greater affixes for both. We then add some vulnerable or crit damage. I have got the weapon masters aspect here because another charge for steel grasp and rupture is very sweet. So we can execute some evil double ruptures. On the pants plus 4 to flay and we should also not forget about armor and resistances. Here I put iron warrior aspect, that's very important to become tanky and unstoppable. On the shoes I play hectic, but you could also put weapon masters aspect here and play another offensive aspect like elements on the gloves. You may have realized that I have tempered barrier generation on pants and boots, that's for a higher iron skin barrier, so it can absorb enough damage. Further we can add imposing presents for more life points and movement speed. The amulet ideally would have critical strike chance and skill points for both passive skills, cut to the bone and heavy handed. But at least attack speed is not too wrong here. On the rings we want to have crit chance, attack speed and vulnerable or crit damage. The damage tempering is done by the rogue again, just as with the weapons. We should also temper cooldown reduction for weapon masteries or for rupture on the rings. The aspects are adaptability, moonrise and edge master. Sometimes I even use a zelic amulet to become more tanky, but I lose a lot of damage then. On the weapons we need again some damage to vulnerable and critical strike damage, as well as strength and life. 
I use two one handed swords and a pole arm. On the two handed weapons we play wanton and rapid aspect, inner calm and a cursed touch on the one handed. Latter one is not urgently needed. I also got a switch gear in my sideboard for PvP, mainly for the tempers. I wanna get Marshall Vigor to 24 or 25 and stuns or freeze on lucky hit. Sadly, my switch amulet also is still missing cut to the bones. Jen's blessing are also nice for more damage reduction and damage to vulnerable. I also switch one skill for PvP, challenging shout comes out and I put the second stun breaker instead. So rallying cry or charge. The flay barb gameplay is a bit similar to bash bleed, but also a bit different. Since flay has no area damage, we need rupture to spread the bleeding to multiple enemies. Like that, our armor will also reset our iron skin cooldown very fast. That's necessary, because we need the iron skin to be tanky enough in higher pit levels. So our rotation looks like that. Grab monsters with steel grasp, play them one or two times, when getting damage, instantly press iron skin. Then we immediately also rupture the crowd for area damage and to get back the iron skin. In lower levels, that's usually enough to kill the enemies or give them so much bleeding damage that you don't have to care about them any longer. In higher levels, you will maybe flay for a while, but that's no problem either, because the cooldowns come back so fast that we can use Rupture and Iron Skin again and again. Even though my gear is not fully upgraded yet and some masterworks are kinda bad, my flay barb is almost as fast as my bash bleed yet. Maybe the bash still is a bit faster in pit 101, but in the end the flay will be able to run much higher. In boss fights the double Ruptures are really badass. That's why we play Wanton and Weapon Master's aspect. So we only need to fill half of the monster's life bar with bleeding and then just rupture twice. Boom! Rest in peace! The Blood Maiden within the Helltide event won't even spawn any monsters like that. For giving her enough bleeding, it sometimes just needs a single hit. Of course, the build is also fantastic for killing the level 200 bosses very fast and you can skip most phases. Flay is very deadly in the PvP area as well. Everything what is not immortal just dies cruel and fast. So the Flay Barb really is an all arounder who completes all tasks to your highest satisfaction. And the latest patch also gave him a nice buff. Have a lot of fun trying out, take care and may the loot be with you. Follow me. Thanks. Goodbye.